literally breaks loose. Now, I've seen 80% of the movie because one of my friends showed me the actual film. And I definitely did like where this went. So now, at this point, Frieza... Sorry about that. Frieza actually comes, um, you know, everybody is... um. We see everybody. We we don't exactly see Goten and Trunks in this movie. We don't see Yamcha. We don't see any of these guys. None of them were in the movie whatsoever. But then we see um, not even Majin Buu because, as you remember, he was in hibernation. Now Frieza, he comes back to the Earth. Now Frieza invades the Earth with his one thousand man strong army, and he points and he's here greeting everybody. He's on Earth for a little while, about 10 minutes before anyone even recognizes he's there. Um, uh, I believe, right? And uh, then he points out his finger and uses an energy, bo- an energy beam and then blows away the entire city. And everyone knows that he's there at this point and they go on to where he's at. And the freezer's like, oh, there goes all the guys now. Time to greet them. And he um, says, yeah, it's been a long time no see, guys, you know? Um... It's your old pal Frieza. So uh, where's the, where's the, where, where, where's your boy Goku at? You know, I, I need to fight him. I need to finish him off once and for all to prove to him that I'm the most strongest in the universe. And everybody was like, he's he's training at this point. He's not currently on the on the planet right now. And now to just prevent Frieza from doing anything else. Now the one thousand man strong army. He's it, like he's like you know he was like sick of boys and he wasn't really like that, but he was like he, it was like he, he was doing that. He was sicking all of them on the Dragon Ball Z warriors. So basically, all of them start going out. Um, I, I'd say Master Roshi she killed about. 50 of them, and those were the really low-ranked warriors of Frieza's army, and then we get, uh, everyone is just battling each other, I mean, uh, Krillin, um, Krillin and, um, the Jaku, the Galactic Patrolman, were right in the middle of all this big group of enemies, and these guys were just, uh, going all out at him, uh, Jaku was beaten relatively easily, but now, Krillin didn't really even get a, he, he used his, um, Kianzan, yes, but he didn't kill anybody with a direct hit, he more of like sliced the mountain, and the mountain crushed like a hundred of them, and now we see Gohan using his Kamehameha, blasting key blasts at all the enemies, um, uh, Piccolo finishing some of him with his um, um, Makako Sapo. And we see Tien using his Tri Beam. And um, Master Roshi is actually fighting them. He was battling a few of them before using his one handed Kamehameha. And basically, everything that's happened between the Z Warriors and the actual guys, basically, in the, in the actual movie, it was basically perfectly portrayed in the trailers of, you know, the trailers that you saw. You know, basically, this is what was happening. And the only enemy that seems like to be more of a, of a challenge toward the Dragon Ball Z Warriors is Shisami, the evil, demonic looking red guy, the dude that you saw knocking the fuck out of Piccolo in the trailer, he was in the movie, and yes, he did actually knock out Piccolo, he was strong enough to actually knock him out, um, and at this point, Gohan came, uh, came around, now, Gohan couldn't go mystic anymore, my thing, my theory about why Gohan couldn't go super, uh, couldn't go mystic anymore is this, Gohan... He had a. He, this is basically what I believe at this point. You guys can say whatever you want to, but this is my theory and my theory alone. Gohan's body became so weak due to the lack of training that he literally lost the ability to go mystic anymore. Like he didn't lose the power of my, mystic, but he lost the ability to attain it again. He 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 can never lose his true. Um, potential, but the problem is his body is too weak to be uh, to hold to be as a vessel to that potential power. So now at this point he lost the ability to go, but didn't lose the power. So that's why he probably didn't go mystic form because if he could go that, he probably would have. And he was left with Super Saiyan one and Super Saiyan two. And he used those two forms, and he went Super Saiyan 2, and he fought Shisami, and instantly blasted him into oblivion. And basically, all of his soldiers were left on the ground, dead, either dead or completely obliterated. And at this point, we get back to the scene where we and Beerus talk about how much trouble Earth is in at this point. Frieza is actually back. Um, you know, your Earth could be in danger, all of your friends could be too, so now... 
where he says, I can get you there in 30 minutes, but no telling what Frieza can do in that kind of time. So Goku's like, fuck that. I, I know the kind of dude Frieza is. I need to go there right now. So he grabs Vegeta's hand, uses instant transmission, gets there in a second. And at that point, they appear right before Frieza. And Frieza's so happy to see the both of them to just kill them. He's like, finally, Goku. We are finally here. It's like been an hour and a half since you fucking, since, um, uh, since I came to Earth. Like, finally, you're here. And uh, Goku was like, what are you doing here? Why are you here for in the first place? And Frieza ex- uh, uh, basically ponders about his time in hell and how he's l- how he yearns for revenge on the Saiyans and how he wants to destroy the earth in order to live right with himself again. You know, he basically goes back to this big flashback of his shitty life in hell and now he wants to destroy Goku and Vegeta and... And Frieza now, the fight's about to go down, he transforms into his final form, and now Goku and Vegeta, I mean, Goku and Frieza are about to battle, and Goku was like, it's definitely interesting to see how powerful you've gotten, it seems like you've definitely gotten more powerful than you were before, and Frieza was like, yes, um, that, um, you know, you know, I don't see... You know what? I don't see how you think you can flatter me with this. I'm still going to kill you no matter, no matter what. But thanks for the uh, thanks for the gesture any, uh, gesture anyway. These two go and they fight. Basically, they um, go all out at each other. But you know, Frieza doesn't really seem to be holding much up against Goku. Goku's basically ruling this battle. He's uh, Frieza's blasting energy blasts all over the place. Vegeta's blocking all of them. Frieza uses one of his death balls. Goku uses his Kamehameha and blasts it back at him. And um, Frieza actually survives that blast. And um, basically, we get back to this point. I really want to make this quick because I can't make a, like an hour long review because then I'm going to have to post part after part after part on YouTube. But I really don't like that. But then um, Frieza, Goku tells Frieza, you know, you're probably not going to like this, but. I have achieved a form that's beyond the normal Super Saiyan level of uh, beyond the, the normal Super Saiyan level that I fucked you in before, and this is a this is a power beyond my normal base form. At this point, you will not even be able to stand hold a candle up against me in this blue haired form. And now Goku transforms into his Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan form, and he's like, okay, this is Super Saiyan with Super Saiyan God. Now, he didn't call it Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. You can, he just said, yeah, this is Super Saiyan with Super Saiyan God. And Frieza was like, that's interesting to see, but now I have a form of my own that I've been keeping away from me for a while. And finally, Frieza was like, fi- Frieza was like, finally, show me then. Show me this power of which you were hiding from me, Goku. And Goku went all out. Um, I mean, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, Frieza told Goku, I'm going, I'm going crazy. Frieza told Goku to, I mean, Goku told Frieza, show me this power that you've been hiding from me, Frieza. Show me this ability that you have. Frieza now is going golden, um, golden Frieza. Now, the light, he, I mean, everything is di- uh, golden aura, light, golden, it's like a golden uh, light aura emanating all over the place. And Frieza's transforming, he goes golden Frieza, these two go, these two start to fight, and um, these two are actually pretty equal, but um, at this point, these two are going all out, and, and then Frieza, um... Frieza basically gives Goku a really, um, basically what happens. Okay, I really want to get into more of it, um, what's going on. And um, Beerus is talking about, he looks, he's looking at Boma. Beerus is saying that, okay, um, I definitely do love to, uh, I definitely do love that uh, food that you make for, uh, for us, Boma. Could you actually make us a, um, you know, one of those um, Sundays again? And, um, Boma was like, at a time like this, at a time where the entire planet is at risk, I mean, why should I do it right now? And Beerus threatens Boma by blasting her and the entire planet into oblivion. She was like, okay, okay, fine, I'm gonna go fine, I'm gonna go make the stuff for you. She puts the strawberry sorbet. Strawberry sorbet on the table. Beerus and we start eating it. Um, the Galactic Patrol Man comes up to Boma. Now, at the beginning, he was kind of skeptical. Skeptical, step. Um, sorry, but uh, skeptical about even 
a god of destruction even existing. Now, he was a galactic patrolman. How could he not know about Beerus? But he told Boma, okay, you know, this entire thing about Beerus Sama is actually real. This is the actual god of destruction. And he brings out a camera and says, can I take a photograph with him? Boma's like, go ahead at your own risk. He'll, you know, you'll probably anger him to the point where he blasts you into oblivion. And it was like, he puts back, he puts his camera back into his pocket. And he's like, fine, shit. You don't have to be such a bitch about it. And now Frieza's fighting Goku. And these two are seem to be equal. But at this point, um, um, Goku is uh, actually having the upper hand. But then Frieza sees Beerus. Now, this is a point where I was pretty amazed by. Frieza looks at Beerus and he says, Beerus, you're actually here. Like, you know, what the fuck are you doing here? Are you here to, to uh, you know, Beerus is like, what the fuck you think I'm here for, nigga? I'm trying to eat, I'm, I'm eating this fucking Sunday. And Fraser was like, no, wait, are, are you here to, you know, um, are you here to, uh, interrupt with my revenge? And Beerus was like, you can do what the fuck you want to. I don't give a fuck if you're gonna blow up the planet, if you're gonna try to blow up this, I don't give a damn what you do. I mean, I, I'm the god of destruction. I'm nobody's ally. I mean, my trainers just, just train Goku. Doesn't mean I'm his friend. I'm not gonna try to, I'm I'm not going to try to stop you, but I have basically enough faith in Goku that he'll beat you anyway. And Boma was like, hey, wait, 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 I just gave you a Sunday and you're just going to say fuck everybody, fuck the earth even if it blows up. And Beerus was like, okay, fine, fine, just shut up. If the earth gets does get blown up, just stay near us, we'll protect you from the planet's explosion. And everyone comes out, all of a sudden, and stands by Boma, sends around Bo like Piccolo, Krillin, Tien, Master Boshi. All of them are just right there, hiding, just huddling towards um, Beerus and Whis, um all around um, Boma after they heard it. You know, if the planet does get, if the planet does get destroyed, we'll be okay. Both of these guys, Goku and, uh, Goku and Frieza, are going all out at it. And um, as you all know before, you know, Vegeta actually beating Goku up to get a chance to fight him. But Goku does continue on his way to uh, fight Frieza. And Frieza is actually losing the battle at this point. Um, Goku, um, Goku, uh, like at this point, um, Goku tells Frieza, "You probably might not have. Um, I finally pinpointed your weakness. Your weakness is that your power decreases. It de decreases every minute. Your power decreases every single minute you battle. And at this rate, you're probably gonna lose." And Freeze was like, fine, I guess I have to beat you, I have to beat you, um, faster then. And, uh, Goku is, um, not even being phased by any of Freeze's attacks. He's blocking all of Freeze's attacks. Freeza comes out with full power, punches him in the face. Goku gets, um, it was like when, it's, it was like when Beerus punched Vegeta. He punched him, but then Freeza moves his face strongly towards Freeza, um, and, uh, uh, strongly towards Beerus and just looks at him. And is like, not in anger like Vegeta, but he's like, really? Frieza was very, he, he just stood back in shock because, you know, he sees his punch didn't even work. And then Goku uses.